I'm Daniel Lurcock, and I work for ISVR Consulting, an enterprise unit of the Institute of Sound and Vibration Research here at the University of Southampton. The university is famous for innovation in engineering. Our world-leading sound and vibration research involves cars, trains, planes, boats, electric scooters, underground pipes, machines, and hi-fi sound systems, and even animals and fish. I could go on. Basically anything to do with sound and vibration, from the largest wind turbines to the smallest microphone chips like you might have in your phone. All this amazing knowledge and facilities, it isn't just academic. At ISVR Consulting, we work with clients to design, develop, and test their products. And we provide consultancy advice with our own team of highly experienced consulting engineers. So, what kinds of services do we offer? When it comes to buildings, we help clients understand and reduce noise and vibration caused by railways. We help clients to design low vibration buildings for facilities including laboratories and microchip technologies. We've even installed railings in our wind tunnel to test for wind noise issues on tall buildings. One of the really important aspects for buildings is the internal acoustic environment. Too much reverberation and rooms can be difficult to communicate in, which can disrupt meetings, particularly when they've got video calls. This is one reason that acoustic panels are often installed in meeting rooms. And we have the capabilities to test how much sound these panels absorb, meaning that rooms like this can be kitted out effectively. Being part of the university means we have access to some world-class testing facilities. This is our reverberation chamber. It's especially designed to be as reverberant as possible, as you can probably hear. We use this laboratory to test how effective different acoustic products are at absorbing sound. Like these acoustic panels, which are fitted in all kinds of buildings, from schools, hospitals, shopping centres and village halls. We can also run acoustic fatigue tests in here, for example for satellites, and we can generate a sound field in here up to nearly 150 decibels. Some of our tests require a different kind of acoustic environment. Our anechoic chamber is super quiet and basically has no echoes at all. When you want to test the sound insulation of something, we can remove some of these wedges and we can test through from the reverberation chamber next door into this anechoic chamber with a test specimen mounted in between. So, whether you need expert acoustic advice backed by leading academic and real world experience or you need some acoustic testing, contact us at consultancy at isvr.co.uk or visit isvr.co.uk for more information.